Hi, did you ever hear or watch a video about the proper way to wash your laptop or the proper way to wash your motherboard? Okay, today we are not going to talk about fixing. Today we are going to talk about the result of to put an electronic device in water. Let's see what is going on here. What happened here is a computer that got inside of water, deep inside I mean. We got a lot of oxidation, everything looks with a lot of damage, plus more things on the way. Here, if we take a look, we can see plastic pieces from wrong and sampling and dissembling made by somebody who didn't know how to open a laptop and broke a lot of pieces. So most of the plastics in the laptop they are already damaged too, not only the metals. I found out there is some kind of creamy stuff like shampoo plus flux, the one that we use for soldering. When a computer gets on water, any technician, electronics technician or engineer, they can try to make some fixing. Water make, uh, makes some oxidation and makes damage like this, the ones that we are watching now. I can take the transi a transistor like this and I can try to fix lead by lead until it is possible to me. In another view, I was fixing them. Here I found uh, flux, the one that they use for soldering and is around all the board, inside of the devices, uh, connectors, everywhere. I did a cleaning too, and this is after I did the cleaning and the other picture was before. Also, when technicians they are not well trained, they don't know that the white uh, heads in paste is not the proper one for microprocessors and video chips. You must use the gray one. Here somebody tried to put uh, the white one, but it's not good. It's good for transistor uh, powered uh, devices, but not processors and video chips. If your electric appliance, your electronic equipment, laptops, uh, telephones, uh, tablets, they get uh, troubles with water, the first step is disconnect the battery, and the second, look for an electronics technician or engineer who can fix the problem. What I'm doing here is I'm using chemicals to try to stop the damage that the water is producing on the board. By the way, I can stop the damage until this point. I cannot uh, correct the damage that is already done by the water. I have to do it in another way, but I will not report the damage done. This is the motherboard after I tried to fix it. We can see here also some white silicone. As I said, it's not good. And let me tell you what I think happens here. Number one, the beginning of the problem was almost here. This laptop was not a new laptop, it was a repackage. was sold twice. The first time they sold it, somebody found out there is a problem, they give it back and they try to fix it. Works for a while, they package again and they sold the laptop. I hope the or uh, its owner didn't buy it as a new one. The problem of this board, whoever tried to fix it, they, he sent it back to fix the actual owner. They thought it was the video chip. And the reason why I think so is because there is a glue paste 
that the factory puts on the corner are, is missing. We can see it here in the chipset we can see the blue paste around the corners. So they, any kind of uh, supposedly technician try to remove the paste and reflow the chip. How do I know they reflow it? Because the green color is now brown. It doesn't look like this, like the RAM. Looks uh, more brown, which means it was exposed to heat already. If the problem was the video chip, they will never fix it and I will tell you why. Because you have to remove the glue, something that I saw in the genius in YouTube, they don't do when they tell the proper way to do the things. But also, you have to remove the glue under the chip, they didn't do it. This is the chip we saw and I am removing it. So if the problem was the soldering in the chip, they will never fix it because they didn't remove the glue under the chip. But the problem was not there. The problem was right here. This is small capacitor close to the processor. Let's take a closer view. With the PC they are saying uh, processor capacitor. This capacitor is assigned to the processor. And I didn't need special equipment uh, to find out what was the problem. Just, uh, just by taking a look all around the board, remember when you make an investigation, the scientific method says you must use observation. So take a look around and find out what is going on. The capacitor was burned already and make a lot of damage on the pre circuit board. It passed it the layers in between. And to remove this capacitor, to find the problem, I didn't need the special equipment. And to remove this capacitor, I don't need a soldering station. I will need it probably with these small guys here around. But this one is big enough that I can use a standard uh, soldering iron to remove it. At the end, I remove it and I put it on the top of this to give it back to the client. But this was the bad guy of the tailing. Uh, and nobody could see what was easy to look around and to see that something in this guy looks very different than the others. By the way, thanks to heaven there are two more, so you can appreciate there is a difference there. Okay, what I thought happens in this motherboard. They tried to reflow the video chip, they couldn't. They tried another crazy thing. They put a lot of flux all around the board and they tried to heat all the board, probably with hot air, probably with oven. How do I know it? Take a look to the battery connector. If you reflow the whole motherboard or open it in a special engineering design it, uh, process with a uh, control things and everything that it should be well done. Some of the connectors uh, and plastics they are for high temperature and other they are not. They didn't use enough temperature to melt all of them. But uh, the battery, the CMOS battery connect, uh, uh, housing has two leads that you have to solder with a pen uh, soldering iron. So the hot tip comes here and doesn't expose the rest of the plastic to it. And this plastic is breaking like a cracker. So it tells me the whole board was overheat. Genius. I don't know where did they get so much knowledge in electronics. Probably from YouTube because I'm watching all these crazy things and these crazy procedures there. This is the processor. I clean it the best way I could. To be honest, I don't know if it is good or not. I don't have another computer to put it and test it and I will not put this processor in a client's computer to find out if it is good or will pry the client's uh, computer. So it's not my way, I'd rather to give it back and to be honest and say, listen, I couldn't test the processor, period. 
the CD-ROM unit. This is the driver uh, with the CD that was originally there. And a lot of creamy shampoo around. So you can imagine how is the thing inside already. Not good. This is the power button printer circuit board. When the fabricant make the board, they put a thing like here to protect the copper. As you can watch, that uh, protection is already gone. And let's take a look here closer. Later we are going to talk about the end of this uh, ribbon. Here closer, I want to show you this. This little island, the copper is good, but all around is already damaged. And this kind of damage is not something that I can control from the top. It's the humidity, the water, enters between the copper and the printed circuit board and start traveling, oxidating like a cancer all around the track. This is the end of the ribbon, I said, and we can see here oxidation too. So the connector button is not even to for sale in, o in eBay or LX or Amazon or anywhere like that. Memory. We have in this computer uh, two memories of two gigabytes each one. <coughs> it's not a low resolution, it's that just that I put it on the way that it will be shiny because I want to show you some words are shiny and the other words they are not shiny here in the connectors. Do you remember what I told you that the oxidation is traveling under? Okay, that's what we see here. And we have some extra shampoo between these uh, sets of resistors. Uh, why did I didn't clean it? Because it has no sense. Uh, the deterioration of the memory chips is a lot already. And like this capacitor and its tracks is already oxidated. So there is a lot of damage here. The Wi Fi card. Here we have the wireless, and you can see a lot of oxidation too. Behind it, there is a metal uh, shield that uh, protects from radio frequency the devices, very sensitive. Uh, it's already damaged, and uh, you can see here how the oxidation comes from the other side of the board to this side. So you can imagine the rest. USB extension board. We have here three problems. Let's talk about it. Number one, mechanical problem. It doesn't look alike. We have another to compare. The reason is the bottom end of this connector is pushed out. The reason? Because the soldering is already missing. It deteriorates. So we have nothing to do there. Two, when not well-trained people, because I cannot call them technicians, they assemble the laptop. They have. They must be careful. All of us, because it could happen to anybody of us. Do not press the ribbons or the cables, because we will make damage on it. We will cut the conduction from one side to the other. Three. Do you see this uh, end of the cable here? Let's take a look. The conduction tracks they are really they are already falling off from the plastic. So if I put this connector, if I am not extremely careful, they will bend and they will be totally damaged. But by the way, the oxidation is coming already from inside because water is doing its job there. So that's the blue spots we see here. So this part even to for sale as a part. This is the metal piece that holds the security cable if we want to lock the computer to do not be stolen. Why am I showing you this picture? By the way, more 
broken plastics on the way because the computer was opened by somebody who was not a technician. If you uh, see here around, we will see that the metal is already gone. Let's take a look in this, this little part. If the metal is this thick and the oxidation went so fast, do you think it will rate so long in your motherboard or printed circuit board once that it wait is, is, is wet? It will wait so much for you to bring it to your electronic technician or engineer for service. So, as I said, my first advice, remove immediately the battery, don't put it back, and bring the thing to somebody who can help you fixing it professionally. Hard disk drive. Here I have a uh, soldering flux, and here I have beautiful creamy shampoo or something I like. What I think, they tried to put the flux or with hot water to put it all around to reflow or reopen the, the whole computer or probably they tried to watch the flux with hot water would put the flux every plus the client and didn't like uh, this uh, stuff around his computer and he decided to watch it himself too. The LCD display the screen we have shampoo all around from the bottom corner to the upper corner both sides so the whole laptop was uh, deep in water this is the CD-ROM connector here we can see the oxidation coming out already so it's not good even to for selling apart hard disk drive connector this is what a good connector looks like this is what a rusty damage connectors look like by the way here on the left side of each one we can see a little bit of soldering flux which should not be there for no reason in the world the power connector if we take a zoom we will also find out there is oxidation all around plus the blue color here around is coming from inside telling us there is oxidation everywhere the mouse pad nothing survives there are also oxidation and a lot of uh, damage even missing tracks already Okay, I have to put together the laptop. I got a bunch of uh, rusty screws. Most of them they are no good, but it doesn't matter because I cannot put them back. Uh, there is a lot of uh, missing places to screw them in the plastics. So even when the plastics looks good, uh, the plastic are not even for parts because I don't have where to screw it. Very important, and I will say it twice. Disconnect the power connector if you are going to give uh, broken or bad uh, electronic uh, equipment to your client your client can attempt to connect it and we don't know if it's already bad it could be a fire initial at home so I will not transfer a problem to the client I will repeat it if you are going to give a broken equipment to your uh, client tell them it's no good it has no way to fix and disconnect the power connector. By the way, I also discharge the battery totally to give it to him. The battery uh, is not uh, so good. Heats when it charge and plays a little, uh, not too longer. Ironically, this laptop has zero scratches, which means its owner took good care of it. Sadly, he fell in terrible, let's call, technician's hands. Okay, this toy is ready to be shipped to its owner. And sadly, only the top cover, the charger and the back survive. The rest they are trash. Um, I would not suggest to the owner 
to donate a computer to get uh, lessons of how to do soldering or how to fix in YouTube because probably he is until here of good technicians uh, wonderful uh, branded uh, service companies to fix computers I will let him to make the laptop's funeral as it should be and I hope you like it it was a video about water damage from how to wash your motherboard or how to wash your laptop or how to do crazy things in your smartphone or tablet this is what water makes in a printer secure board after a few days thanks for watching it